What's the duration of America? We're about to get another reaction today. We're hopping into Gilmore Girls episode number 20, season number four, called Luke Can See Her Face. Hopefully, it's a good episode. Hopefully, it's a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the series. If you have, of course, you like, you comment, you subscribe to the channel, you head over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reaction. Episodes are necessarily over there. If you want them, if you don't, that's totally cool. Episodes will be here on YouTube whenever they show up if you don't want to head over there to Patreon. So, previous episode. We had the after boom, which was the episode essentially where we <clears throat> found out a bit more about the situation with Jason and Richard and all that, why Richard did it, the aftermath of what Jason's doing, the aftermath of the relationship between Rich, uh, Jason and Lorelai and her relationship with her parents, and then Emily leaving Richard apparently. I mean, there's a lot going on. In the comment section of Patreon, you guys were heavily, I'm going to say more than 50%, I'm going to say that, on Richard's side. And you guys said Jason did this to himself, essentially. He did this. He chose to leave his dad. He chose to screw over his father. Now, you guys are saying he chose to screw over his father. But I don't believe he did. Jason said he did everything by the book and correctly. Jason left his father to do his own thing. And Jason brought his clients over. What Richard is doing is screwing Jason over completely, taking every client Jason had and bring like all that. So <laughs> it's not to me the same. And of course, Jason has to sue because he's getting royally fucked. So I'm fully on Jason's side. And I get it, you know, Jason was the one that made the decision to come over. He was the one that possibly had the, maybe he did do some wrong things. Maybe he didn't. If the father, I don't know. Like Jason keeps saying he doesn't. I believe Jason. I believe he didn't. He did everything by the book and he did everything right. So, yeah, I'm. I, I, you guys are not with me, a lot of you guys. So, we'll see where this goes. I'm not, I was with like, yo, you have to sue. And I even said like, Lorelai, She's it's her choice not to want to date Jason, right? And you guys said that of course she wouldn't want to date the guy that's suing her family. Your family mur like like murdered his company, essentially. <laughs> like it, it ruined him. And you're choosing, I mean, I guess you gotta choose family, but damn, if your family did something really mad bad to somebody that you cared about, you would still choose your family? Even though they're one hundred percent in the wrong, and and I don't know, I know Richard kept saying he's doing it to save, you know, he's doing it because he has looking out for himself and all, but I don't know. We're gonna see where this goes. Let's have a good old time, have some fun. Yo. Salt and gazpacho. What's happening here? You didn't even listen to me. Oh hey, I want you to take a tour of the inn. Why don't I just wait till the place is repossessed and I can see it at the public auction? You were so mean to me when I only managed to line one of my eyes. I apologize. See, so you're making a face the entire time. Looking forward to it. You get here this oh, early? <clears throat> you're at his table. Is this your voice? Michelle Curtains, Man. Tom Bannister, and Mudson <clears throat> Bell. Yes, that's my voice. I left myself a couple of messages. <laughs> you left yourself. Had to be. Were you a fat child? <laughs> um, I'm going to go out and check with Michelle on something, and I would have gotten through it without him. Have I said thank you to you? <laughs> no. Uh, well, thank you. If he wasn't so uncomfortable, he could have well, taken this nice joke. Nice meeting you both. I'm just going to go sit. Really? Because they know I'm a loser, and I'm destined to be alone. You're not destined to be alone. You have Shell. <sighs> Why is it so hard? What, relationships? Look who you're asking. At least you got married. Was he taking confession or something? You can't go. Harris, come on. You know, I'm not going to be in this class forever. This game, yeah. Which means next year, you're going to have to find some other idiot to stand here until the coast is clear. That's all. Are you really looking at books? Do you? By loneliness? If I were any? Oh, yeah. Oh. I think I brought my own porn in here. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. I just need to scan the books. Yeah. This should cover it. 100 bucks? That's way too much. Take it. Peace. You want it? You can have it. They're not compromised, stifled, soul killing. They're love, love books? An honest, life affirming love. But okay. how do you get it? How He's like Super Mr. Fix It Man. We'll work on the name. But your tool I mean, belt will I guess this is what people want, right? People want an end to feel like this, right? Very grandma. Oh, it was good. Good enough for the opening? 
No, no, no. We have to serve your critically incredibly selfish. You never think about me. Never. I'm you want a work. townhouse? You want a new car? I'm working. You need to pay for these things. Then you're not working. All day waiting for you. you Maybe never get a job. Like you always promise you will. That's nice, Lindsay. That's real nice. What Whatever, the? Dean. Holy shit, she sucks ass. She's home all day and Complete doesn't work. Sentence. And then she's complaining that I Dean is working. Are you out of your mind? Listening to this tape. I feel hopeful because this tape must end. So of course I want you to. What are you talking about? I, I want you to be my best man also. You can't barely I know you. Like 800 on the list, but yeah. you can come to the bachelor party if you want. Good joke. Are you happy for me? Say you're happy for me. Sure, I'm, I'm happy, happy for you. For you. Uh, of Good course job. I'll go to your bachelor party. Good. Keeping up appearances that we like each other. Very classy for the wedding. Yes. That is unbelievable. Oh, stop it. It's about a zillion years old. <laughs> I'm Vanessa Redgrave and Camelot. Seriously. Cool. Hi. Love myself. It's just gonna be like coming. I'm so excited. I'm getting married again. <laughs> you too. Ha ha We have achieved culinary perfection. What's with the carrots? Oh, I was afraid you weren't eating right at school. Jesus. Uh, pizza, Marshall? burgers, Chinese food, oh, chips. Oh, man, I've missed Al's Chinese night. Oh, he's fries, got a new thing now. Chicken chow mein sandwich. Oh, Al. Oh, Al. Twizzlers. So what exactly was Grandma's excuse for canceling Friday night dinner? That Dad was traveling and she had a function. It was that That's right. You didn't come see Jess. Hey, you came to see Jess. Just ran out of crack to sell, so they sent me over to borrow a cup. Hey, uh, nice. <laughs> put those holes there yourself. <laughs> what, an, what the what are fuck? You doing here? Just wanted to see how you were doing. Doing great. Great. You're doing great. Wow, you're doing great. I'm not doing great, and I have running water. Place is fine. Fine. Not great. What happened to great? Oh, this is no housewarming <laughs> gift. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I just thought you were going absolutely nowhere with your life. Glad I'm wrong. Hey, what you filthy mattress <laughs> is yours? Right what there. the ah. hell? What an You're ass. Hey, I want to toss. Now, if you don't mind, I've got places to be. Is somebody sleeping right there? to it. Liz told me you weren't coming to the wedding. No way. You're here about that. I am here about that. I'm going first. Hey, Todd. What do you do for work? Okay, no, so Jess is... I know what I'm talking about. Jess is around. Stalks of wheat, not processed wheat, stalks. Everything now, right? I'd say so. I'm not paying for motel, so I'm staying with you. <laughs> I wasn't sure he was coming. I went to see him in New York. You went to New York? I oh. think he was picked up in New York. Hey, don't add stuff from your to-do list to my to-do list. Sorry. <laughs> he okay. came back. No, well, wait. You know that if the entire Dean's having trouble or not. Nah, the line would never end Rory's here. This is about to get real messy. That's my list. Every Chinese person in the world. Scary. Scary. Here, slow down. Where are you? Cheated on. Stop saying the hospital. There are tons of hospitals. Oh, Which know. hospital? Get a heart attack. Uh. Mm -hmm. I do show oh, up wait. occasionally. Please He's gonna find soon. your radio. No. Is that your dinner? Couldn't book my usual table. Eat my food, use my shower, just don't go poking around my stuff. Mr. Sensitive. Whatever. Enjoy your <laughs> evening. Don't wait up. No. You better take that tape out and hide it. You're a road in need of some repair. If your score is between 30 and 40, who would make your travels more enjoyable? Do you see her face? When yeah. you're in pain. Oh, Luke like can see come? her face. I get it. See her face? He sees Lorelai's face. In your life. Right. A promotion at work. A six so close to death. He's not that okay. close. He's closer than me. An uh, animal yeah. will you on the head tomorrow, and he could live another 40 years. I'm not She's realizing. He'd be rollicking. Asher doesn't rollick. Well, he probably didn't rollick when he was younger, either. He's so <laughs> you have seen the way he was staring at the ceiling. Like he was looking at God. He wasn't looking at God. He's probably been laughing at me all these months. You're embarrassed? No, I haven't. I'm in a hospital. I I've been laughing. I've been, the I've been on, disgusted by your 40 something year dif difference in age. Old gelato. Vanilla. It's a very old flavor. Oh. <laughs> passion. They look good. Uh, should good I be laughing great. at they this? Look great. Great, not fabulous. Fabulous. Fabulous, not Mondo fabulous. Come on. Canada. And he knows how important the zucchini is for opening day menu. Are so. you saying that sleeping <laughs> with the zucchini means He's sleeping, sleeping with, with the zucchini? With, like so next, four times. You're like very literally sick. next to the zucchini. Oh my God. Well, you said to do whatever it takes to make sure we have fresh <laughs> zucchini. Within the realm of reason. Oh, now you. Uh. <laughs> Boy, or, we have arrived. Oh, you said it, brother, my brother. <laughs> brother, my brother. Hey, I know you. Stomach cake? I'm fine. Check out the fresh nugs. Nice and fresh. Now you see? Not really. My stomach again? Uh, that time, yeah. <laughs> Grab seats before they're all taken. <clears throat> Is this a strip like club? Oh, no, no, thanks. I'm... It never was. 
So a lap is just an illusion. Whoa. The way his mind works. Oh, uh, it's something else. Where hey, you came. The bathroom. It's best to use it before the puking starts. They left me hanging with the Lords of Flatbush here. Sorry. Oh my God, are, are we gonna, gonna get? Are we gonna get away. into a bra? What? Don't get him started. Hey, I want to talk to you later. I always enjoy a good palaver. Huh? About what? No? This can't go on. It's too weird. Yes, it is. Tonight's been sort of an eye opener. Well, good for you. We're supposed to leave for England in two weeks. I shouldn't string him along. I feel like he's gonna propose. Good. And to do it is good for a number of reasons. What reasons? Oh, I just meant all the reasons that you already know. Wait for me. Take me home. Yeah. You read all these awful stories in the paper. You know, a guy. Comes in with a stomach ache and they amputate his foot. Perfect. Jesus. Come sit down. Maybe he breaks up with her. You know, a hospital seems a wonderful place to. But I'm grateful for. I feel like he's gonna propose. We've spent together this past year. You're a wonderful company. After all, I'm old. You're not so old. Damn it, Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Hi. Daughter? I'm looking for Asher Fleming. Granddaughter, Andrea. Granddaughter. Hi. Yep, that makes hey more there. sense. Daughter. Wow. It's really nice to meet you. Um, I'm going to be going home now because there's no rest for the wicked. So I'll see you at home. See you there. I'll just see you in class. One neat pet. <laughs> you sleeping? <laughs> hey, dog boy. You having a good time? I'm yeah. having a gay old time. Yeah. yeah. You read so much. I'm thinking of nicknaming you Reed. It's a good one. Tough guy, huh? What? Listen, your mom has this thought in her head. She want to tell your mom no. Then I'll tell her. I don't want you telling her either. Want a kitchen for a telegram? Whoa, what the fuck was that, bro? Hey, hey, knock it off! Knock it off! Stop! Just knock it off! Stop! That's it. This old piece out. Oh. Hell no. Yo, this guy tried to fight me, man. We got a problem, bro. <clears throat> this isn't even just his fault. But I'm always letting me just... Hmm. Are you blaming Jess? Tonight I got into a fight at a strip club with my nephew. Break. Take a break with me. Come to the wedding. Really? Should be fun. There'll be turkey legs. Oh, well, sure. Yes? Yes. <laughs> Luke, this is, this. I mean, it's, it's baby steps, I guess. But she's, I don't think she's taking it the way you, right? All that and all he did, he didn't even do anything. <laughs> I guess, I mean, I don't know. That wasn't even a big deal to me, what he did there, but who knows. All right, episode number 20 in the books. Luke can see her face. So, solid episode. I guess Jess is just back now. Don't have a real hatred for him right now yet. You know, we'll see how that goes. Um, No Jason stuff, no Richard stuff. We kind of got a little bit about the Emily not sleeping at home stuff, but... That's it. The Paris stuff is weird. She was on the path of go doing the right thing. <clears throat> and she veered off that path and chose wrong. <clears throat> she is staying with Archer, that's his name. She is staying with him. The dude literally is 40 something years older than her. And she's staying with him. She had the scare that he might die at any time. It didn't matter. Still <clears throat> going to be uh still going to be staying with him. So that's something. Um yeah. Other than that, let's see what else we got. Um of course we got like I said, we got Jess back, we got Luke learning about love and trying to do the right thing. The I guess the a big thing for me was the Dean thing. And maybe I'm different. No part of me, no zero, zero part of me was on <clears throat> his girl side. <clears throat> she wants a condo and a car. Dean is working a lot, busting his ass. Yes, he also does hate being home, but he's doing what has to be done. To get her what she wants. She apparently doesn't work. Stays home all day. According to what she said here. She's like I'm home all day. I want to like. Her wording. 
and she's mad that Dean, who's making the money, can't hang out today. I don't know in any world why anybody would be on her side. I could be wrong. I'm a dude. You know, I'm older. I don't have this old school mentality, though. You know, so I don't have this whole I work, bust my ass and you stay home all day mentality. When we there are no kids, there are there's nothing. What do you do at home all day? We don't have a house. <laughs> what do you do? You can you not do you go to school? Does she go to school? She didn't. She said I go. She said I stay home all day. Like there was no school. So, yeah, not on her side. Curious about you guys. Um, oh yeah, the beginning part where, oh, you know, the stress of the end, of course, the beginning part oh where Lorelai, uh, Suki's trying to set up Lorelai with the protein guy or the meat guy or whatever. Paris is being all kinds of weird. And of course, you know, Luke's sister's getting married. That's going to be the big thing, right? We've got two episodes left. Getting married. She seems happy. We, we go see Jess. Um, he's living, you know, not the best, but you don't know what he does for work, but you know, he comes back. So yay. Good for that. You know, he gets to be at his mom's wedding. So the thing at the bar at the strip club, why that should have been a big deal to me. Um, so, you know, we have all this thing. Everybody's stressed out. We go sleep with the zucchini. So <laughs> maybe I'm in the wrong again. Jess is happily at the strip club reading a book. And again, I'm not the biggest Jess fan. You guys can actually say that I kind of hate Jess. But, you know, he's sitting here reading a book, minding his own damn business. This guy says, hey, your mom wants you to rock walk her down the aisle. And Jess is like, nah, I'm good. The guy's like, oh, she really, and it goes back and forth. And he grabs Jess's book and he throws it. Jess had the proper response to literally punch him in the face. Because I don't even know, why did Luke grab him? Why did Luke grab Jess? He should have punched him. What the hell? It's like a whole big ass thing. But they didn't make it a big deal here. But Luke, he's taking chances. He's going to go after what he wants. And I think in Luke's mind, he thinks this went a certain way. But in my mind, this, this just seemed like she was asking to hang out. Like regular, like they always hang out. This didn't seem like a, you know, be my date kind of thing, girlfriend kind of thing. So I kind of just want them to pull the trigger on this, honestly. I don't know if they will. I don't think they've built it this season really like that. Honestly, they haven't. So I don't see it happening. You know, they've built it there in the background, but I don't think they've built it this season for it to just be like, oh, she broke up. Here's... You know, Luke. But what could possibly be the ending if they don't do it now? Jason comes back. Christopher comes back. No, but Christopher's got a baby and wife. I don't know what the finale is. Um, but yeah, that's the episode. And Jess, of course, said he loved Rory, all that stuff. So solid episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Patreon for the full reaction. I'm gonna get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later.